Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got bases loaded like her, the man of Blanche's boudoir, and grab that dough. And I'll also be using Maniology MXM 075 today. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2, and I'll be using Bases Loaded Lacquer Shutout as my base to make these colors, you know, pop when I do the gradient. Yes, folks, we're doing a gradient today. Now, this is my brand new bottle of Shutout. Once I've used it a couple of times, it is a straight up foolproof one coater and stamps like a dream. But today I'm using it to make these gradient pop. Gonna cap my free edge here. And I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup because I don't like doing it later. I like doing it, you know, kind of on the front end. I like having my line nice and tight. So that when I go to do, do the cleanup after the gradient, I don't have any white jumping out. I am going to top this with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down, and then I'm going to get ready for the gradient. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. This is spring in the south, and the pollen is everywhere, and I am stuffy. So I'm going to be applying my latex. I normally don't show this step because I kind of feel like it's silly to. But, you know, some people might not have ever done nail art like this and don't even know about this latex trick for keeping things clean. And I'm just going around the nail. I'm not like going all the way around the finger and everything because I know the gradient's going to stay on top for the most part. My nails are a little bit longer now and if they were short, then I would have to do the tip of my finger also in the latex. All right. I'll be using Bases Loaded Lacquer, the men of Blanche's Boudoir. This is from the cheese sugar or candy coated cheesecake collection. And this is Grab That Dough. And I'm just, you know, I'd gotten them all in and I'm using all of them. You know, got to use them quick. I was so excited to get them. So, I do have a makeup wedge that I've cut down a little bit, and I have dampened it. I've ran it under the faucet, squeezed all the excess water out, and I just apply the polishes on the sponge. Now, I realized that I didn't have the green going down far enough, so I did add some more of that before I started doing the tap, 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 applying it to the nails. Now, I go through and do like two or three nails. And then I reload the sponge, and I'm bringing that yellow down a little further. That's the blending area, and then the green. And then I'm going to start on the next nail, and I'm going to go through it and the pinky. And then I get to get, make another round back here, There's enough polish left. And I do that, and then I reload that sponge again. And this is a rather long video. I'm doing the gradient and some stamping on it. So, I mean, you could do any way you like. You could, like, just gradient one nail or two nails as accent nails. You don't have to add stamping to it. This is a beautiful manicure all on its own. You could put, like, a flaky or hollow topper on it. Ugh. Any way you want to do it. <clears throat> And these polishes are pretty opaque, so it's not like I'm having to do rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds of this. Really two or three good rounds of it on all the nails, and you ought to be good to go. Now I'm trying to get in close to the edges, because that's normally where I miss. Got to get in tight on those edges, so they've got some of the gradient polish on them too. <coughs> Excuse me, like I said, it's springtime in the south. Sinuses are jacked. There we go. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. So I'm going to get this latex off. And it's, you know, it's fighting me. It's okay. I'm going to get it off there. It'll just take a second. I might need to investigate different latexes. I don't know. I haven't bought like indie latexes in a long time. Because I got that big huge tub off of Amazon and I've been using it. But you see I'm having to break out tweezers. It's just, it's a mess. 
I don't know if I'm like putting it on too thick or too thin. Any suggestions would be much appreciated. <clears throat> so now I'm going to hop in with the acetone and my cleanup brush and try to clean this up a little bit better. And it's coming along really well by using that latex. Even though it was a pain, um, it still makes for much easier clean cleanup here. Let's fix a Kleenex. Y'all see where my head is. It's all in sinusville. There we go. Lovely. I love the ingredients. I really should do them more often. Much like water marbles. So pretty. And those colors really work well together. I've got a piece of latex stuck over here on the side. It's making me crazy. Let's see if I can get it out of there without messing everything up. Nope. I was scared I was going to mess it up with them tweezers. Might just have to top coat it in. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to top it again with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. And that's when the gradient like really does the gradient effect. It like just blurs it and blends it all in. Here's a swatch photo of the gradient on its own. Today I'll be using Maniology MXM 075. And this was that like um, books or reading stamping plate set that came. I'm going to use this one today. I like to use my plates before I put them away. That one's telling me it's etched so well it's chewing up my stuff. I'll be using On the Black from Basis Loaded Lacquer and my Cube Stamper from Maniology and my H. La Costadora Scraper. And I'm just going to pull some different images off of this plate. I'm going to try to behave today. We'll see. We'll see if it happens. I'm going to try to do just some nails and not all the nails. We'll see. You never know with me. I'll probably end up doing them all. Can't help myself. But I love that even with the stamped image on it, you can still see that gradient backing it. And it's so pretty like that. I'm going to turn the plate over. Yep, I'm going to probably do them all. And I really was... Um, into these ink wells. I just think that they're so cool. I've always loved those. I thought, I think that they're really neat. Um, you know, I grew up when there weren't, people weren't using those. We were using, you know, ballpoint pens or whatever, but I just think that they're cool. So I'm going to put one on one nail facing one way. And then I'm going to do this one facing the other way. So that they kind of mirror each other. So the first one went on the index finger and this one's going on the ring finger. And then I'm going to put these books in the middle between them. And they would have looked really cool filled in like doing reverse advanced stamping. But I, I didn't have time for that. So we're just going with just the straight up stamp today. <laughs> And I really do like that look. I'm, I'm just loving it. And this little clock got my attention. I think that's what this one, yeah, this little clock. Like the Alice in Wonderland clock or something. I just thought it was so cute. Adorable. And it fits on that pinky so well. Alright, so we're done. We did do them all. We're going to clean up this stamping plate with some pure acetone. <clears throat> And then wipe over it with the lint-free wipe. And even that gets chewed up a little bit. These plates are etched so well. And you do want really well etched stamping plates. It's frustrating dealing with a plate that's not etched well. I'm going to top these with the smudge-free top coat from Maniology. And then I'm going to top them with the Posh top coat. A quick mention on the smudge-free top coat. I thought I had, like, backup bottles. No, y'all. I got into my container and, like, was... Out, and I was like scraping the bottom of my polish bottle to do these so I had to put in an express order with the refill bottles got to have that smudge free top coat hi Woody how you doing 
So there's my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.